I did, Sherry. Earlier today, I spoke with a parole officer who specializes in se uh, sex trafficking, and she says sometimes victims can get so used to their situation that they begin to forget that they're actually a victim. They'll go back into the lifestyle just to have things, you know, food, place to sleep. Brookside police say Shannon McKinney told them she had been held against her will, drugged, and forced to have sex with men. They say she went to a women's clinic only to check herself out the next day and hasn't been heard from since. Carrie Hill, a human trafficking expert, says warning signs can be hard to pick up on. If you see someone who looks like they're in distress or, um, you know, looks like they don't want to be with the person that they're with, you know, those are all signs obviously joined together, nothing individual of, of a potential victim. Some of the signs um, look a lot like domestic violence. A lot of the victims have substance abuse, they will have branding on them, tattoos, they will be in a controlling relationship. Police say McKinney had been in relationships with the two people of interest in this case. This is what they know. These are the people that they know, and it sounds weird, but they trust them. This is These are the people that they trust. So it's very likely that they're going to return to the situation. Authorities say Logan Williams is cooperating, but Stephen Hollyer is still on the run, and police believe McKinney may be with him. Yeah, moments ago I spoke with the police chief here at Brookside and Mike Jones and he says the case has now been turned over to Homeland Security and they will continue to investigate it. But he does have concerns on McKinney's safety. Tonight we're live in Brookside. Xavier Harris, WVTM 13.